Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. It is time to clean up this desk. Let's zoom out. And yes, that's me standing in a chair to put you on the, on the video holder or the phone holder. Oh, what a clean desk. And look what I have from the paper that was on the desk. These have been, this paper's been on here for a while. It was actually several pieces that were taped together to cover this lace uh, tablecloth because I don't like to work directly on that. These are so wonderful. I'll show you a close-up of these, but let's lay them all out. They're, they're so textured because they've been, each one has layers and layers of ink and like that's got washi tape, different stamps that I cleaned off. Oh, just amazing. Love this. I do need to add just a touch of glue to the back of this one because there's a piece of masking tape where two pages were stuck together. This one may be the same, yep. Aren't they amazing? I think what I'm gonna do is pick four to keep for myself. That would leave 25 and I'm gonna put that set in the coffee shop. Right. I'm gonna take one of the masking tape ones and leave one. I wanted to show you how these look close up. Lots of texture. And these would be very fun to use as an interactive element in your journals. 25, 25 of these art circles. They are currently in the Kofi shop and they are packaged and ready to go. Well, it might seem like a lot, but I do really like this container that I found that already had the separations in it. And so far, I've been using it for a few weeks and I love it. There is a lot on this desk, but everything is within reach. So I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I can tell you what started this whole cleaning process was that I was going through some of my trashy journals. And when I put them on the desk, there was just too much on here. I couldn't really even see all of the journals. There was just too, too much on the desk. Actually, I just went ahead and zoomed out again to show you some of the trash journals. I'm not gonna go through each one, but I wanted to pull them out for myself and go through them and just see how full they all are because I do have some trash labels, things that I wanna keep to put in these. And honestly, it's a lot of fun going back through these. You can see here, there's a Chick-fil-A packet. And within this is an envelope I received with a very sweet letter from uh, the lady that I did the surprise journal with where she sent me a um, just a packet of things to use. So, I, I just wanted to go back through for myself. It's so much fun to go back through these later because packaging, labels, ephemera, uh, efe real ephemera is something that's not meant to last forever. It's ephemeral and it's ticket stubs, it's packaging, it's love letters, postcards, playbills, things like that. So it, it really does bring back memories to look back and see things that, that you've used. That one was actually done for an art show. So let's see, this is the cookie box journal. I wonder if you remember this one. I have added, I think a coffee packet in here. So that one definitely needs more work and more stuff. This is one that I made. <laughs> it's funny, this was made in a way that I've never made one before. I just folded sheets of paper and glued them in with a glue stick and then went back through with uh, clear packaging tape to make sure that all the pages 
were going to stay in, even if it's messy. Like you can, you can see the cardboard cover there. This one I haven't even started decorating yet. Uh, and I, I will, I may use this for some sort of glue book because this paper is perforated. It's a packaging paper, so you can just tear parts of it out, which I don't want to do. I thought it would be fun to work on this. Haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with it. So that's off the table in, in every way. This might have room for some more stuff. I think it does. I just added the coffee thing. Oh, and that package from, from underwear. And then this one's a, a kind of a, it's not a very thick journal. I like the cover. So we can add some to that. This one's pretty full. This one, this one's massive and I love all the green pages. So I'm gonna take it off the table for right now, but isn't that fun? This one, of course, is massive. And so much, it's got so much in it. I'm gonna take it off the table for right now. And that's the one I kept sewing signatures in all the way out to the very edge so that we could just lay this out flat and people could look through it. This one was on display as well. And I'm not saying I'm not gonna add any more to this. I probably will, but for now it's off the table. I wanna work in some of the ones that don't have as much in them. So this was actually an art journal and personal journal. I made this one is this the one that I used uh, magazine pages from the dumpster? Yeah, that turned into a really cool art journal. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one out because I need to do a digital documentation of these photos in here. Oh, I love this one. I had forgotten how much art was in this one. Okay, so there's that. I love that one. And I wanna get back into practicing faces more. I've kinda let that fall to the wayside, but we're gonna start that up again. This one has also got a lot in it. Piece of mirror. Trashy paper dolls. Maybe I will do renewed flips of these journals in a series. Okay, I need to, to look at these two again. So it looks like we're down to these two. The first thing I did was to take a paper napkin and just Mod Podge this in place. That's not dry yet, but I did wanna show you step by step this was a plain, just basically, not cardboard, but like just the flat packaging from tea bags. And you know, the inside of that is always just plain brown. I love using acrylic paints in my trash journals. So I added this bright yellow here. It looks a little different on camera than it does on the desk. I like it on the desk better. Uh, you know what? I really like mustard with sausage. So it's funny that we've got all this yellow around here. It's like this Saturain's jambalaya is basically soaked in mustard. 
And then there's a lot of yellow on the next page. And then, oh yes, part of my birthday present. Another thing I did was to take this metal cover that sealed up some, I don't remember what this was. It looks like maybe it came from like peanuts or something like that, but I haven't bought those in a while, so I don't remember. A couple other things that I did. I punched holes, one in the front and one in the back. That was kind of hard to get through all those layers. So I used partially a paper punch and partially an awl, <laughs> which they're sitting right here. This is some packaging cord that I swept up off the floor at work. Uh, it was tying up some merchandise and I loved that it was so heavy and it was a long piece. I cut it in half and just tied it in here for a closure. Um, where I work, we sweep up so much trash and the little flower petals sometimes that get loose from flowers. I always try to put them back if I can. I go, you know, if they're not dirty, sometimes they're just so dirty they need to go in the trash can, but I try to put them back on the flowers so that the flowers will be full, but sometimes there aren't even any of those flowers left. So I took some of the petals that I swept up and got from the trash, just glued those in. She's left over from a project. I should write that in here. So I did just go ahead and write that. I'm left over from a project. One of the really fun aspects of journaling with trash is just the spontaneity of, of things that come to you. And it's just a lot of fun, I think. There are more petals that I glued down and put a button in the center. Here's a seed packet. I planted some passion flower seeds this year. I haven't had success with those. I understand they can be hard to get growing, uh, but then they can uh, really kind of grow wildly once you get them started. I'm really hoping the passion flower seeds grow. There again is that lid. I'm trying to remember what that came from. Normally I don't have a problem remembering. Another flower petal. You know, normally the labels bring back memories and I say, oh yeah, that was that. But I didn't want to not use that, that packaging. I like it a lot. I think that's it for right now as far as what I've done. And I am gonna do a few more things. Oh, I did this. This is some of the beautiful grungy paper from my art desk. And even though we can't see all of the napkin, you can still see part of it. And then if you peek in there, you can see the Eiffel Tower. But I just love using things like this. And I just sewed that in with the sewing machine. It is so pretty today. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. I didn't get a chance to finish recording uh, the trashy journals before I had to leave to go to work. So I wanted to just say, a proper goodbye at the end of that video and I thought that I might do that sorry not trying to make anybody sick just opening up my little makeshift gate look at my bun Jason just said I'm so stern this morning because I have my stern bun he's just picking on me though uh, but that's my makeshift gate until I can make a real one so there's my Lady Banks rose. Let me sit my coffee down over here. I need to water some things. Oh, zoom out a little bit. So pretty. I'm so thankful this is growing. I had a large, gorgeous Lady Banks at my old house. And then there's some columbines down here. I hope they come back. This was in my old garden. I had all kinds of statuary and oh, just um, mosaic walkways. And I, I'm getting it back little by little. I am thrilled to see this coming back. So this is an astilbe that's very dark. Um, it was gorgeous. Is that the tag? Yes, dark side of the moon. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And then back here, uh, in this pot, we have some salvia. It's really pretty. And we have some chimes. There's a new set I want to get. 
at work. It's really pretty. And then we have lilies. <laughs> this pot somehow ended up filling up with clover and I haven't had the heart to just rip it out because it's so pretty. I wonder if there's a four leaf in there anywhere. And then I have a lot of moms out here. Probably should cut those back so they can get full. Oh my goodness. I just saw a bee go back into that. What is that back there? Oh, that's an old nozzle. Interesting. I wonder if they're building in it. What in the world? Oh, did you see that? Cool. I have some new hellebores. I really, really want to plant these out in the yard. The deer eat everything here. I don't really think they like hellebores. Uh, but I'm so afraid to just put them out where the deer will demolish them. We have some cottage pinks over here. And then this new euphorbia. Oh my goodness, euphorbia is one of my favorites. And this one has got just gorgeous, gorgeous color. Uh, there's some sweet William. That is a potato pile. <laughs> There's potatoes growing in that, and I'll have to put things around it as it grows so we can have potatoes. Uh, this tomato has plenty of water. I might need to feed it. It's got some little yellow spots. And then I was inspired by my friend Amy over at Birdie the Recycled Hippie Chick to make kind of a rock garden. And I wanna get some sort of container up here that will drain and fill it up with different pretty rocks and pebbles. I know the grandchildren would, would like that. There's more moms back here. And then another gorgeous hellebore. So pretty. They're just so beautiful. It looks like a spider has built around the little house, which is fun. That was not there two days ago. I wonder if you can see the spider web. So there's chives planted here. Oh goodness. The squirrels do the digging. So I had passion flowers planted here. Who knows if they will grow. More moms. This thing is just not doing well at all. Um, I've tried it in different places and different pots, so I may just stick it out in the back of the yard to see if it will grow. Broccoli, that needs water. Okra, what did I put here? Gourd, and I will try to move those to different spots once they start growing. These are mammoth sunflower seeds, all of those. What did I start in here? Cucumber. And then my sweet peas are growing. I have to put a trellis for them to climb on. We'll just see what we can get out of this. And then, once inside the little greenhouse, we have this mixed lettuce that I've been pulling a few leaves from. Oh, everything in here definitely needs water. Flowers, spinach, Swiss chard. love that plant. It's like a corkscrew sort of shape. And then spinach. Yeah, this needs water. It's starting to get really warm in here. So I think I will water everything and say goodbye for now. And I will see you soon.